What is going on guys, we are here with Finch uh, vs Xamarin for Smog and Snake Draft. This is one of a lot of games that I have in the back that I'm going to be rewriting over. I have about 40 games in the back, maybe even 50. Uh, Shoutout to Ultra Ultravolt, he's been helping me with these games because I'm like a bit busy and stuff like that. But yeah, looking at the teams, um, Xamarin's team is known, it was used in World Cup. Um, he might have changed some sets in here, but overall it's, um, let me talk about the sets. It's Scarf Lando, uh, Sub Z-Move, Kira with Fusion World, Ice Beam, Freeze, Shock. Ice Beam Mew uh, with Softball, Defog, Fast Mew. I assume it's uh, Rock Strand then and uh, Fortex, Scarf Lando. Rock Strand with um, Magma Storm, Taunt of Power. Maybe Toxic in the last slot. The Lopani is Fake Out with um, um, Power, not Power Punch, with High Jump Kick, Frustration, and Copycat. Pexus Spadev with Skull, Recover Haze. Looking at Finch's team, uh, it's either Scarf Lando or Scarf Katana, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, nice Nato King, nice Wall Breaker. Um, either Rocks on Lando or on Tar. Depends on the sets. If it's a Banta, then the rocks are going to be on Lando, but if it's a Mega Bulky Tar, then the rocks are going to be on T Tar. Um, probably an AV Tangros, maybe with some Fist Dev investment. So it needs it with Lando's. If he's Scarf, he's going to stay in and U turn out. Pretty sure he's Scarf because uh, the fake out damage tells us that he's offensive Lando. Uh, so there's a free U turn for Finch if Zamrock stays in. Um, you just go into your Tangros and eat up the hit um, with, the in with the Intimidate. Intact and uh, like even even without intimidate it would be fine, but intimidate up uh, Tangos eats it up even better. So Amrock is probably gonna switch to his own Lando or to his Mew here. Oh uh, yeah, U turn is completely fine for Finch to get momentum here. The, the chip damage from the fake out is not a big deal to him. Um, I'm thinking this is a uh, Spike Spellbound Gren, and then depending on the set, most likely since this Lando is scarfed, I'm thinking that's a Zemo of Kartana. Uh, because if you're not Scarf Land, you never stay in turn 1 on Lopani because he might have changed it to Ice Punch, you know, you don't know that. But yeah, um, the U-turn from Land is going to be amazing for Finch later in the game. Um, if he like U-turns on some mons, um, he gets in his, his Nido King. So you turn uh, Samuel goes into Mew. This springs in the most likely the Greninja if it's Battle Bond. And yeah, he can just go for a spike. His Zamrock is forced to go into Tox of Pex. Uh, the Pex is dev on this team. Makes a lot of sense, obviously. Otherwise, he would be super weak to Battle Bond Greninja. And now Finch is gonna switch. He doesn't have the best skull switch ins because everything can get burned. He's either gonna go Tangos to knock off the, the, the Pex, but I assume he's not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, like I said, everything else can get burned, so it's super risky. Like the thing is, why you don't want to let your tangles get burned is um, it's your like reliable Lopani switch, and if it has a uh, fist death, um, we have seen AV fist death tangles like a few times. I think Brof is used to versus Finch. Um, it's quite interesting because he can take stuff like um, Zemo from Zygat um, a bit better than Spadev, or like he can like clutch live a hit like uh, a plus two hit from Katana or something like that potentially. Maybe not plus two, but he can potentially take some hits. As Zamrock went into Mew, I think he predicted the Tangros and he wanted to get the Defog off. As uh, Finch went into Tita, Finch switched out, so he either didn't want to get burned on Tar or he's not choice sure Bennett. He might be some bulky Mega Tar. Uh, I would always go for Spikes here again if I was Finch, because you don't lose anything. Even if Zamrock stays and predicts that, I don't think you lose anything. Uh, Zamrock makes a mid ground play going Lopani, covers the Dark Pulse and the Spike, so fine play by Zamrock there. But like I said, I always would have spiked if I was Finch. I don't think he would have lost anything. I, I do understand he tried to catch the Mew on the on the stay-in, but I still would have spiked there. So now he's gonna go into uh, either Tangros or Lando. Probably Tangros because he doesn't know if Zamrox changed this Lopani to Ice Punch, so he doesn't want to risk anything. Um, so I've gone a Kalk earlier, and uh, Frustration is like 34 to 40 to Tang if it's AV Max, uh, like without Fist Dev investment. But we will now see if he has some Fist Dev investment. So he takes 32, 32 so he probably has some Fist Dev. Um, this is a free switch to Kyurem for Zamrock here because Tangos cannot do anything to Zemo of Kyurem, he also cannot get knocked off. Um, so Zamrock can go for a Sub-Zero Slammer here, or he can go for a Sub, I would probably just go for a hard Sub-Zero Slammer. Uh, Finch goes into Tita. Uh, Zamrock is now go goes for Sub and now he's gonna go for Zemo. Uh, so he's the Mega Tower, so he's gonna be able to live this, but it's gonna do a lot. At a 71, um, took it quite well, so it's Earthquake, and the other moves are probably Rocks on the Tower, Stone Edge, and then Maybe pursue the ice punch or ice beam, something like that. We have seen we have seen ice beam some on some teams as well. Um for like land for Helmet Landris. But yeah, there's probably some bulky tar, like Finch maybe made his own spread. Pretty interesting. So I don't even know Kyurem can kill this because Kyurem with Zemo usually runs max attack. So Ice Beam might not even kill. And Fusion Bolt is not stabbed, so it also might not kill. So if both moves don't kill, 
Um, Zemrog is gonna switch into his uh, Landris, I guess. Uh, Finch is probably gonna get his rocks up here if he can live a hit. He can also go for Stone Edge, but I think he's just gonna get his rocks up. But yeah, after Kyum loses the Z move, it's not the biggest threat anymore. Um, for Finch's team in specific, um, it's like Finch's team in particular, I think that was the correct term. It's still hard for him to switch into Kyurem. Um But yeah, Kyurem doesn't come in on much. Like, it basically only comes in on Tangrows. And Finch can, like, make doubles and stuff like that. So I think he's gonna get up rocks here. Um, Zemmer wants to save this. Like, it doesn't come in on much, like I said, but it wants to keep this to pressure stuff like Tangrows. Um, I think we're gonna see the Landris or the... I don't know what else he could switch into. But yes, Landris was still healthy. Uh, Finch gets up rocks. Uh, Zemrog is not gonna U-turn out. Um, Finch can keep this as fodder, but it's not worth it. Because if you go Landry and the HP Isis, it's not worth it. So he just wants to sack it, but he lives on 1%. Let's see what he went for. Did he just go for Edge or Ice Punch? He just went for, he went for Ice Beam, okay, so... I'm not sure why he went for Ice Beam, because um, if you predict Earthquake or U-turn... Like, if you predict Earthquake, you would die to that, so Ice Beam wouldn't work. If you predict U-turn and you lift the U-turn, then Ice Beam um, doesn't matter, because the Landers is going to switch out. But yeah, he saves that at Fodder now, which is understandable. Um, Nidoking can actually text that skull not as well as I thought it would, but it, uh, it makes sense, because Nidoking is pretty frail. Uh, Toxapex can live off power, but if Toxapex gets low, Battleborn Greninja becomes a big, big threat. Um, so Zemrock has to hope for a burn here. Uh, he doesn't have good switch ins. He can go Landris um, on the off power. I guess he can do that. But if Finch breaks that and goes for like an Ice Beam. It's looking like a wrap. Because a Scarf Land or Zemrock's speed control. If he loses that. I mean, Lopan is also his speed control. But Scarf Land looks um, quite important here in this game. As it can help uh, Zamrock check the opposing Lando. So he stayed and went for Scald. He gets um, a 50%, so that was a higher rule. If he got a burn day, he wouldn't have to worry about Nidoking. King. But now he has to switch because he has to keep this uh, Pax around for Balabon Greninja. And later in the game, he has to um, probably sack something else again to get more regen. Because at the moment, even if he switches out, he's still not healthy enough to switch into Balabon Greninja. Um, so Sludge Wave, I think, um, kills from here. I think that's like 18 to, 80, 18 to 21, I've run a calc earlier. Um, so Finch might go for Sludge Wave, as it does still do some damage to um, like Landris, and it still kills the packs. But if you break Landris, you might as well kill for Ice Beam. But like Sludge Wave is like a mid-ground type of play, because you still get damage on Landris, like I said. Um, like, Zemrog is definitely not gonna go um, into his lob, because he still needs that for like... It's really nice in this game for Katana, for... Um, not speeding Nilo King, not speeding Greninja, even if it gets the Battle Bond. Even though Greninja has a uh, Water Shuri, it's gonna be choice, most likely, so it's gonna be fine. Like, Zemra can play around it. And uh, like I said, he cannot afford to sack the pack, so it's either going hard land or going hard turn here. I don't really see what else he can do. Uh, I guess he could sack the Kyurem, let's see. Like, Kyurem was, uh, I think, at 26 or something like that after rocks? Was it. No, no, it was, it was a bit healthy. I think it was at half. It's at half after rocks, I think. Yeah, I would take either the Kyurem here or um, go hard land on hopes that he doesn't go. Hope that he doesn't go for Ice Beam. So he goes hard land though. Finch makes the mid ground play of Slash Wave, and like I said, Slash Wave would have killed the packs most likely ever in the Kalk. Yeah, that, like that's not most likely would have killed unless he's not life orb, but he should be life orb. Um, so Zemo can now U turn out. I assume Finch is gonna keep this around. He's either gonna sack the Tar here or go to his own land though. Um, yeah, going to own his own land was a bit too risky because Zemro can go for HP Icy since HP Icy also kills Nether King from here. So I think Finch is gonna sack his Tita. That's a completely fine play and he gets momentum back. He does just do that. We probably see the U turn here. Yep. And what is he gonna go to here? Probably Lopani. Um, because Lopani doesn't take much from rocks and then he can fake out something. And if he goes to Pax here to get regen, yes, it makes sense. He wants to get regen with his Pax, but that would just give the Nidoking King another free switch in. So I don't think he's gonna go to Pax and give Nidoking King another free switch. Uh, Lopani keeps Nidoking King out. Um, Lopani means that, if he does go to that, Lopani means that Finch is gonna have to go to either Landro or Tangrose. Uh, because, like, if he if he goes Greninja, he's gonna have to bank on Water Shuriken hits, which is not gonna be the play. He goes to Landris, Finch can just U-turn out again here. 
Um, Zamrock is gonna fake out to get some chip and then he's gonna switch out because Lopani is still nice to have. But yeah, overall Finch is in a good position, he has his rocks up and he will eventually get his battle bond with his Greninja and um, put in all the work with that, I'm pretty sure. And Nido King also looking like a threat, even though it's at 5%, it still um, kind of gets a kill if it, when it, if, whenever it comes in on the packs. Um, unless um, Zenro plays like a god and predicts correct around it. And let's say he goes into like heat turn on a, off, on a sludge wave and then land on a off power. But he just goes into his own land. The thing is he cannot keep doing this because now he, um, he only has one more switch, in to, switch into rocks. Uh, Finch can do it his Greninja here or his Katana. Goes Greninja. Um, this land was Scarf, so I'm not sure if fin I'm not sure if Finch is gonna click Water Shuriken now. The Water Shuriken is quite obvious. Um, so Finch might. Um oh, he goes back to his own Lando. Um, I understand Finch's play. That was a good mid ground play uh, because it pre it covers the Toxapex switch if um, and it covers the U-turn play and it also covers. They can pretty much cover all options. Scarf Lando just outspeeds um, Zamrock's entire team. When when he, when like Zamrock's Lando was U-turning there, he was not off quaking. Like it also obviously covered off quake, but this was completely fine. He was never HP I think there. Basically is what I'm trying to say. So really nice mid ground play by Finch, because if he stayed in with Greninja, he kind of had to deal with a type of 50-50 scenario. Um, so Zamrock goes in the pack. He's obviously not going to stay, and he just does this to, does this play to get some regen. Um, he's either going to like sack his Kyurem or. Um, Go to Mew here. I forgot how healthy the Mew is. But I think the Mew is not that healthy, so I probably would get to it KO'd for my off quick. I think Finch is just gonna off quick though. So he goes on his own land, though. I didn't think he would do that. Finch makes a good play if you turn, okay. I thought he would just off quick. Um, I guess it was super obvious that Zemok was just going to Pex to get regenerated, but still, I still thought that um, off quick was okay there. But Finch makes the battle play there, um, I would have potentially earthquaked. Um, now, um, I think Zamrock is going to save this Landorus because he, when next time this Greninja comes out, Zamrock can sack his Landorus to the hazards, and that means he does not get his battle. That means he can prevent Finch from getting battle bond. Um, so he's probably going to go to Pax here to scout f um, what the Greninja goes for. Since he regen twice, he's now quite, like kind of healthy. Like He cannot switch in super well, but he can scout. So let's say Finch goes for Dark Pulse, uh, Zamrock goes Pex, and then you can see if he, if he gets to it KO'd, he can then sack his Landreth. Like, he can react from there, pretty much. Tangworth is just, um, not Tangworth, Pex is just one of those amazing mons. Um, like, it doesn't matter too much if you take damage because you have that broken region on deck, but the rocks definitely help Finch a bit in this scenario. Oh, Finch doubles and the Nidoking King makes a fire play breaking the Toxic Pex. And now you can just off power because Zamrock has no off power immunity. His only off power immunity is the Landros, and the Landros dies to rocks. Um, so the reason why, like, why Zamrock would keep Landros alive and not sack it here is because he can sack it to Greninja Lighter to prevent Finch from getting Ash, or he can prevent Katana from getting a Beast Boost. But I'm not sure um, if that's the correct play. So he sacks off the the Heat Chan, he goes to Lopani. You can click Frustration here. A low punny, so I should say. What I should say, eats that up with the tank rolls. Um, Giga Drain is completely free for Finch. If Kyurem comes out, it has to take um, hazard damage. Um, I mean, I can see Finch doubling as well into Katana or something like that, but he does not have to make that play. Like, he can double into Katana or Greninja, um, but it's not necessary. So, Zamrug went into. Oof, he doubles into Nidoking. King. So we went into um, Pax and now he's gonna be able to kill the Nidoking. King. Like, Pax is a stupid mon. How does it live off power from Nido King? It's so busted. But yeah, now it's in range from Dark Pulse. Now he's gonna sack his um, Landris here so so that Finch doesn't get the Ash form. Then it does the rocks, like I said. Um, then he's gonna be forced to go into Lob again. I mean, he can go to Pax as well. Pax or Lob. But yeah, Lob and. He's easy, he's locked into Dark Pulse most likely. He doubles into Mew here, breaked into Tangros. Slash Landris. Uh, so he can defog or soft build here. Finch could have just knocked off there, but going Greninja is also a completely fine play. Because if, if he eases soft bolts or he defogs there, and Greninja just clicks spikes here again. Uh, the Toxapex is healthy again. Actually, is it? No, no, I took her off puff from Nidoking. It's not that healthy. 
So Dark Pulse is, is completely free here since the Pax is not healthy. If the Pax was healthy, I would spike, predicting the Pax to come out, but since the Pax is, I think, quite low, it took it off power and then in region, so it's around 50 ish, I would want to say. Um, Dark Pulse should be fine here. So what is Zamrock gonna sack? I don't th I don't know if the Lopani can come out even on a Dark Pulse. But even if Lopani comes out and lifts the Dark Pulse, Lopani is gonna be super low. Uh, so I think he's gonna sack his Kyurem here or his Mew. Um, the, like the thing is he needs his Mew, but Mew doesn't really heal like reliable and much. Like whenever Mew holds. Like Finch just has the correct tools to pressure Zamrock. So he sacks the Kyurem, he goes to Pax. Surprised that he goes to Pax instead of Lopani because he risks getting flinched. Pretty sure Lopani still outspeeds Ash Greninja. Yeah, I think it was like 135 speed and Ash Greninja is 132. So I'm a bit surprised by this, but he's not getting flinched, so it's working. Um, Finch is eventually going to switch if he doesn't get the flinch here, as he does not get it again. So he's eventually going to switch to his uh, Lando or his Kartana. He goes Gartana and the Skull, so this is a bit risky if he gets burned here, but he does not. Um, so he's going to SD up or oh, okay, hard leaf blade. Okay. If he gets burned here, this would be really um, dangerous. Pax can potentially solo. Um, like the reason why Zamrock still in this Mew is because it's nice for the um, for the Landris. Like Pax plus Mew could potentially solo Finch's team. But yeah, he does not get the burn, so this worked out for Finch. And now Leaf Blade gets a kill. And this game is pretty much over, no matter what Zamrock sacks here. I don't see him coming back at this point. Scarf Lando is looking really fucking annoying for him. Mew's gonna get 2 hit KO'd here from a Leaf Blade. Katana gets a Beast Boost, now he's forced into Lopani. Uh, Finch can either go hard into Tangros or he can just sack this. I don't think it makes a difference at this point. Um, because he has... Oh, he copy gets the leaf blade just to show it off the flex at the end. Yeah, but at this point it doesn't matter because um, even if he loses his um, katana, then he goes to Scarf Lando and clicks Earthquake, um, and kills the Lopani, then he kills Earthquake, weakens the packs, and then it should bring it in range from Ash Green just Dark Pulse. But thank you guys for watching, and more content is going to be coming. Some gets uploads from an Ultra Ball, some uploads from me. Not sure how, how, much, how many I'm going to be able to do since I'm quite busy. But you have a fantastic day, and peace out.